This is the LTE network extender that you're gonna need if you need to improve your cellular signal at home. So yeah, for those of you that only have one or two bars and have drop calls all the time while working from home, this is the perfect solution for you guys. So what I'm gonna do now is connect it to my internet router, and then I'm gonna show you guys how much better the signal is on my iPhone here. As you see right now, it only has one bar, and we'll take a look afterwards how many bars I get with the LTE extender being used. All right, guys, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your LTE network extender, and you need to connect it with a wire to either your cable modem or internet modem or to your network router. So this is my network router for my home. This is my Wi-Fi router, and my wired router for my network devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the back of one of the ports, of the ethernet ports of my Netgear Wi-Fi router that also has wired connections for my network at home. Okay, and optionally in the back, you can remove the GPS antenna here and bring it out to get a better GPS signal. This can improve your connection. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna connect it just like this with the GPS antenna still in the box here to see what kind of signals we get. So first things first, take your network cable that came with your LT network extender, plug it into the back there. Next, you're gonna take your power adapter and you're gonna plug in the adapter cable to the back of the LT network extender. So just like you see right here. And there we go, we can just wrap the cables through the back. There is like a little slot here and we'll be good to go. Okay, and now this is an important step from the LTE network extender. You're gonna take the ethernet cable and plug it into the back of your internet router. So for me, this is my internet router here, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the, one of the wired ports in the back. Okay, it's connected via wire to my internet router, and there we go. Last thing you gotta do is go ahead and connect the power adapter, and we'll be able to turn it on in just a sec. Okay, great, now that we connected the LTE network extender, we see that it's setting up right now. So it's trying to connect to our router and you just have to give it a sec to complete the process. So here we go, it is searching for a GPS signal. You do have to wait for possibly up to 10 minutes. So just wanna show you guys the process if you guys are going through with it at your home. I do wanna show you this little button here on the side that will cycle through the different displays here. So as you can see, zero of zero satellites connected, zero of 14 devices. It does have some information about the IP address and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and troubleshoot this, but it's probably relating to the GPS antenna. Looks like I do have to go ahead and take it out of the box. And that's one thing I'm gonna to recommend to you guys to take it out of the box that's enclosed here and move your GPS antenna somewhere close to a window where you can get a GPS signal. Okay, and again, to get to the GPS antenna, you're gonna remove this little lid here and here is the GPS antenna module, and you'll kinda wanna take it out and unwrap enough so you have enough to reach somewhere near a window so you get a GPS signal, because without the GPS signal, you're not gonna get a good connection. And as you can see, they give you plenty of cable so you could pretty much get it to any location near a window. Okay, that seems about right for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. You wanna route the cable through this little hole here. All right, so finally we're gonna put the lid back. And we're gonna take our little GPS module right here and get it as close to a window as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, and just a reminder, the GPS module here does have an adhesive in the back. You can go ahead and peel that off and stick it to a wall or anywhere else near a window so you get a better GPS signal. Okay, so you go ahead and plug in your network extender. It will automatically power on. You see here it says Verizon. It's gonna check some hardware software and it's gonna go ahead and try to connect to your router and then it'll try to connect to the GPS satellite. So let's go ahead and wait for the process. Hopefully it can connect to the GPS satellite now that I brought out the GPS antenna out closer to a window. Okay, so now we got a different message saying connecting to SEGW server. So we're getting further than we got before. So let's see if actually moving out that GPS antenna closer to a window solved the problem. And hopefully this is gonna give me a way better cellular signal at home that I've had before, such as with the one or two bars that I get on my iPhone. All right, looks like it's going further now. 
All right, here we go. It says service active. Press the button to view the device information. So again, the button, as you see from the arrow, is down here, and you can go ahead and press that to cycle through the device information. Here we have nine of nine satellites connected. Great. So that's hopefully going to give us a better cellular signal. And we see here that we have zero of 14 devices connected. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and power off my iPhone now and start it back up. And hopefully we will connect to this LTE network extender and that should get way better signal than one or two bars at max. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, notice that the LTE network extender doesn't work right away. As you see, I only have one or two bars. You're going to have to power it off your iPhone or your other devices that use LTE. And then you're gonna turn the device back on and hopefully it's gonna hop on this LTE network extender and we'll be good to go. So go ahead and power your iPhone or LTE device back on. And here we go on top, it's searching for the cellular data network. All right, guys, and if you see that the bars on your cellular LTE network is not going up, it's only still at one or two, give it about two to three minutes and then try again. You can try powering off your phone and powering it back on. And you're going to see right now that I now have four bars on my signal. Wow, what a difference, guys. It went from usually having one bar to having a max of four bars for my cellular signal. And remember one thing guys, that LTE cellular data not only covers voice and text, it also covers your data. So for example, typically it is best to connect to your Wi-Fi network for using the internet on your phone. However, if the power ever goes down, you don't have your Wi-Fi. So what you can do is turn on your network extender and work off of that. If you have a hotspot feature, you can connect your devices such as your laptop to your phone and run at the full LTE network speed. So one way to find out for sure if your phone is connected to the network extender or not is go ahead and bring up the phone app and you're going to dial pound for eight and you're going to want to listen for this message that tells you that you're connected to the LTE network extender. If it says that you're not, then you're going to again want to either wait some more minutes or go ahead and troubleshoot and okay i'm gonna go ahead and dial this pound for eight number and put on speaker Open to verizon wireless you are under 4g lte network extender coverage with id Two. all right and there you go that's what you want to hear that you are under lte network extender coverage all right guys so there you go if you want to improve your home lte cellular reception at home you do want to get this device and i will leave a link down in the description for it so you guys can pick it up and get these four bars such as me. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If this video helped you out, I would appreciate a like on your way out. See you guys in the next video.